are unhealthy by nature. Each week we'll be hearing from Dr. Phil Hammond, who, like Conrad in there, has a slightly sceptical view of things. Well, I'm up here on Dartmoor for a remake of Wuthering Heights. I'm Cathy, and uh, this piece of rock is Heathcliff. But first, as I'm supremely fit, I'm going to try some inversion therapy. Now, I've been sent some pictures of this, and it looks a bit acrobatic for my taste. And also, there are four people buck naked suspended upside down over Cheddar Gorge. Have you got a treat in store? Hi, Paul. What are you going to do to me today? I'm going to hang you upside down. So breathe from the stomach and nice and slow. Put your hands on my ankles just lightly and sit down quite a lot like you were in a chair and that's it. Now drop your head all the way back. That's lovely. So you can feel I've got you. And just relax. So let go in the knees. Let the feet dangle. <laughs> let the knees go. <laughs> 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 So, let go of the hands, let the arms come over, all the way over. <laughs> and now, <laughs> bring your legs wide apart and straight. And keep them wide apart, will they go wider? That's it, keep them wide apart, keep them straight, and bring them up and over to the front of your body. All the way over, more, more, more faster. Very nice, thank you. Put your hands on your ankles, and now bend your knees, feet together in the middle. We'll put the strap on you just for a moment. Put your hands down through there. Hold on the strap and over the feet. When your feet touch the ground, bend your knees, put your knees on the ground, head on the ground. And just stay down for a while, go back on your haunches, head on the ground. That's it. Yeah. Take your time, slowly about coming up. Take your time. Hmm. How long does it generally take people to recover? Um, the first time I had it, I just want to rush off and do things. Um, other people, um, tend to slow down really a lot mm. uh, and for others it's mildly cathartic. When you first hung me upside down I got the giggles, is, uh, is that normal? That's a kind of fast crying, um, it's right. a relief, it's, it's right. a way, yes, and that's quite common. It actually feels very nice and relaxing but what are the therapeutic benefits of this? Well for, for someone in reasonable good health mm -hmm. um, it's a great de-stressor and um, it's detoxifying, uh, it slows the brain down, um, uh, it gives you a very good sense of well-being and uh, it brings cheerfulness. And what about specific diseases? Does it work for people with arthritis? Yes, they get a great deal of relief from pain right. and uh, they get increased movement. And what's the longest you can actually stay up there for? Uh, some people like to be there for half an hour or more. Because it felt very comfortable. Yeah. It was, I was surprised. I thought I'd get a rush of blood to the head and, and my head would explode. But in mm. fact, I didn't feel that. Why was that? Uh, that's because most of your weight is on my foot, which is across the femoral artery. Oh. So that's slowing the blood flow to the legs down. And consequently, the blood isn't draining from the legs oh. as fast as it would if you had the hip straight and no pressure on the artery. Oh. And is it cheaper than Prozac? Uh, much. So while I was hanging there with my eyes closed, I noticed some sort of transcendental music. What, what was that about? Uh, that's the sound of a Tibetan bell, right. and it helps you relax. Right. It's like a sound massage. Right. It uh, runs through uh, the energy channels in the body, and if it comes right. across blockages, that it works on these blockages just to help release uh, the flow of energy. One of the things I find interesting about what you say is that you use a lot of you know, anatomical things which are quite sensible to Western doctors like blocking off the femoral arteries but you combine that with Eastern ideas like you know sound massage and blocking your channels which to some doctors would sound as bunkum. It's it's not so strange if, if you um, uh, if you feel happy 
then um, your, your sort of energetic emotional response to, to uh, difficult things that are happening in your life is quite different than, than uh, you know, pe people who are finding it more difficult to be cheerful about the bad things. You, in other words, your energetic response to a situation can, can be very different. So does Western medicine play no part at all in your life? Oh no, it plays, plays a part. And if you woke up and discovered a, a lump in your testicle, would you go and see a GP? Uh, yes, probably. And if he said he thought it was cancer, would you opt for surgery? No. What would you do? Um, I would pray a lot. Right. I would, I would pray more, I would meditate more, probably I would change, go, uh, spend much more time on my diet. Um, I mean, I would say you must be completely barking from my perspective. I mean, that's because of my training. But and if you fell on your bell and broke your leg, where would I, you go? I, I would go to the nearest hospital. <laughs> so, here I am, lying on Heathcliff. I certainly feel well and truly hung. I'm slightly anxious about what my patients will make of it, but hopefully they'll understand. Whether inversion therapy works for specific illnesses, I've really no idea. It's certainly very relaxing, but then so is lounging on a rock on a sunny spring afternoon. Thank you.